Welcome back. High Court Judge Devendra Rampasad awarded today $1 million plus legal costs to cancer survivor Robert Daisley. Mr. Daisley sued his former employer, Federation Chemicals Limited, now Yara, for exposure to dangerous chemicals on the job, which resulted in him contracting two forms of cancer. Karen Kozier Phillip has more. It was a happy day for Robert Daisley. After years of battling the courts, his case finally concluded with him emerging victorious. Mr. Daisley, who worked at Yara Trinidad Limited, a chemical manufacturing company for 16 years, was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. The company's argument was that they were in no way accountable for Mr. Daisley's illness as he made the discovery of his illness after he left the job. Former Attorney General Anand Ramalogan, who spoke with the media following the conclusion of the case, said the court's decision to remove the time limitations and rule in favor of Mr. Daisley will benefit similar cases in the future. And this is a very significant ruling because it will um, mean that the extension and enlargement of time in the limitation law of Trinidad and Tobago will now operate to the benefit of the ordinary man who is in a position like Mr. Daisley. Mr. Daisley said that on first being diagnosed, he researched the symptoms and immediately made a connection with the nature of his job at Yara. He further stated while he appreciates the sum granted to him, it in no way compensates for the traumatic experience he has endured. No, the sum that I get in, in the court of law is not really compensatory because right now I, I may look like or seem as though I'm a cancer survivor. But the after effects of the radiation and the chemotherapy has me in a different world. I am walking down the road and drifting like I'm blowing in the wind without direction. I'm just feeling myself around to get along. Mr. Daisy called on the government to review the energy sector with regards to the exposure of workers to chemicals to prevent other cases occurring. Karen Kozer-Philip, CNews.